This is Daryl presenting Apple's Develop in Swift Fundamentals Curriculum, Unit 1, Lesson 1, Introduction to Swift and Playgrounds. Swift was introduced at Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference in 2014 as a modern language for writing apps for iOS and macOS. It replaces Objective-C as the primary programming language for iOS and macOS. It is easier than other languages to learn, read, write, and maintain applications. Swift is a modern language. It is designed to be safe, fast, and expressive. By safe, we mean that the language is designed to try to prevent common programmer errors. Everybody knows what fast means, and expressive means that the language is designed to be easy to read and write by humans. There are several features that make Swift a safe language. We have explicit object types, and object types are not automatically cast to other types unless you, the programmer, decide that that should happen. We have type inference, so the compiler can infer the type, but it always does so in a non-ambiguous manner. We have optionals to deal with cases where a function might be successful and might return a result, or it might not be successful and does not return a result. And we have expressive error handling. The Swift programming language is now open source. There is community input and support. The language continues to evolve and improve. For more information, go to swift.org. The simplest Swift program prints Hello World. It does it on one line. We have one function. We have its parameter, which is a Swift literal. I'm sorry, a string literal. And we don't have any semicolon required. The program goes in a text file with a .swift extension and then a compiler will convert that into an executable. If we have Xcode installed, then we have Swift installed on our Mac, and we can actually run Swift commands on the terminal. We can open the terminal, type Swift, and that puts us into a read, evaluation, and print loop tool to evaluate simple commands. And then we can just type print hello world, and then we can hit type colon quit to exit out and quit terminal. Here's what it looks like. I ran Swift. I print it put gave me a prompt. I printed hello world and then I quit out. In Xcode, I can select use the file menu and select new playground to run a playground. In that case, a playground is a way where I can type in Swift code and have it execute and see the output, but each line is also, the result of each line is also displayed over on the right hand side. So it is a great way to play around with simple Swift programs and learn Swift syntax. Here's the full instructions for running Hello World in a Playground. We can open Xcode and we can choose File, New Playground. And then the selector will come up. We choose iOS and a blank playground and click next and then we can create a we can have an our new playground name we can call it hello world and create and now we have our playground and then i could do print hello world and execute and there's our output if you are following the apple curriculum the student work, the student materials includes an introduction playground. You can open that up in Xcode and complete the exercises. This slide deck is copyrighted by Apple and is licensed by Apple under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License.